Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Julie Pong, and I am the manager of the Laurier Sussex Partnership. And today I have two fabulous students with me. Um, Sabrina, do you want to go first? Sure. Hi, everyone. My name's Sabrina. I'm a third year law student at the University of Sussex, and I came from the Laurier Brantford campus. Great. Go ahead, Jillian. Hi, my name is Jillian. I'm a second year law student at Sussex and I came from the Waterloo campus. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to share my screen because I have a few slides here that I want everyone to see. Mm -hmm. I might have to ask if you're okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So let me just, there we go. Okay, so that's who we all are. And you can see on there, if anyone has any questions after watching this video, um, by all means, please reach out to me. Um, my email is there on the slide. So what I'm gonna do briefly um, is just go over the Laurier Sussex partnership basics so that everyone understands the layout of the program. So I'll talk about the Laurier side, I'll talk about the Sussex side, and then we're going to have a conversation with uh, Sabrina and Jillian so that you can hear from current students in the program. So how the program is laid out, well, you have a few options as to um, which stream you would pursue at Laurier. So you can complete an honors BA in the Sussex Law degree, or you can do it with an honors BSc um, in the law degree. So if you were to pursue the BA at Laurier, then you would have an option between the criminology, human rights and human diversity, humanities with leadership foundations, and law and society. And those are all offered at our Brantford campus. At our Waterloo campus, you can pursue the philosophy or political science BA. If you would like to pursue the Honours BSc, that is at our Waterloo campus. If you're looking for admission requirements into any of these programs, um, I would encourage you to go to www.wlu.ca so you can see the admission requirements. So how the program is laid out is that you would complete both your undergrad degree at Laurier and your LLB at Sussex in six years. So first you'll do two years at Laurier where you'll complete 10 credits as long as you maintain that 75% average in years one and two, then students are able to go over to Sussex with a guaranteed admission. Students then will go and spend three years over at Sussex and attain the law degree, Bachelor of Laws degree. And then students will return to Laurier for one final year to complete the requirements of their BA or BSc. Talk about that in a little bit. Uh, more detail a little bit later. But first, let's talk about your first two years at Laurier. You'll take a number of courses, both in your major and from those that are outside your discipline. So there'll be a real variety of courses that you'll be taking. And um, I will ask the current students about the electives that they took when they were at Laurier. So you'll hear about some of the courses they took. Um, when at Laurier, you can participate in the student-led Sussex clubs. There's one both at our Brantford campus and at our Waterloo campus. Uh, Jillian has led the club at Waterloo and is leading the Canadian Student Law Society Club at Sussex right now. So um, she is well versed on the different Sussex clubs, both available at Laurier and at Sussex. There's a lot of support you're gonna receive at Laurier. Um, in that first two years. So I'm a point person for all the students. So if you're looking for, you know, questions on courses to take, uh, questions about, you know, moving over to England, there's a lot of pre-departure work that we do before you go. And it's not just me that helps with that, but also um, there's representatives from Sussex that also help with that um, transition from one institution to the next. And it's really important that we build that cohort experience before you go over. We want you to know your peers before you go over. And I think both Jillian and Sabrina could attest to the fact that they knew the Laurier, they knew Laurier students um, when they went over to Sussex. It wasn't as though they were going over on their own and didn't know anyone. And uh, I would say that there's a Laurier community that still exists over at Sussex. It's definitely something I've witnessed when I've gone over to visit the students. 
And as I mentioned earlier, it is a guaranteed offer of admission to Sussex if students do maintain the GPA requirements after first and second year at Laurier. So you do your two years at Laurier, you maintain the GPA requirements, and then students will go over to Sussex and go spend three years at the University of Sussex. So uh, the university itself is located just south of London, just about an hour on a train ride. Um, and uh, it's located very near Brighton, uh, which is the city where many of the students live in their second and third year. When at Sussex, you're going to do foundational law classes in years one and two, and it's in your third year where students can pick the courses that they want to take. And Sabrina's in her third year, so she'd be able to talk about um, all the different courses that students can take in their third year. It's quite a variety of law classes that they offer. I do want to highlight that students do have the option to take Canadian constitutional law and Canadian administrative law over at Sussex. So they do have two Canadian courses and they are two of the National Committee of Accreditation exams that students have to write. So it's great that you can get some Canadian content over at Sussex. There are plenty of opportunities for you to get involved in activities outside the classroom. The legal skills competitions, I think, are something that the students really enjoy. I know mooting is popular with the Laurier group, um, as well as they have a number of different competitions client interviewing, uh, mediation, negotiation. So these skills competitions run at the university, regionally, um, and I know some go international as well. And there's also opportunities for students to do some pro bono work and work with barristers and solicitors in the law school and help people in the community. And that's offered through the clinical legal projects that Sussex offers. And just some examples are the family law clinic or the employment clinic. So we spent three years over in England, and then we're going to come back to Laurier for one last year. So in that last year, we're going to be applying for our articling positions. We're going to remain, we're going to finish off the requirements for our honors BA um, or our BSc. And we're also going to take some courses that are going to prepare you to write the accreditation exams. So because students have gone over to England to complete their LLB, when returning to Canada, they have to complete what are called the NCA exams, National Committee of Accreditation. And as you can see, currently there are five exams that students might have to write. So students will be taking in that last year classes that are going to help them prepare to write those exams. So that is the sort of six years um, in a nutshell, sort of to get a sense of what it looks like, um, what, how you would spend your time at Lori and at Sussex. And I want to speak now to the students so that they can give you their experiences both at Laurier and at Sussex. So I'm just going to get us, there we go, um, back to us here. So first I want to ask you both, um, you completed two years of studies at Laurier. Uh, before studying over at Sussex. And I want to ask you, Sabrina, is there anything that stands out about your time over us? Uh, oh, is there anything that stands out about your time at Laurier? Um, I think what stands out is that it, it is a smaller campus, at least when I was, I'm sure now it's definitely they got more momentum and more students, but it was a bit smaller and it was in a, in a good way though. Like we knew a lot of the people in our courses and like you said, coming, you know, to England, we knew everyone that was coming. So it was nice to, you know, know people in your course that you could go to for help. You could study with them. And another thing I really, really, really loved about Lori was that there was so much support. Like the professors were amazing and you could go into their office hours and go over your tests with them and they would have no problem with that. There's the student success portal where you can book appointments to, you know, get help with your essays or other assignments that you have, or if you want help redoing your resume because you want to apply for some jobs or internships or anything, like, they will help you. So there's just so much on campus, you know, even though it is a little bit smaller, that there's so much support still. Um, and it's just a close-knit group, and that's what I loved about it. Excellent. Like I said, it's a good point about the resources. You know, there are so many different offices and people that want to help you with your, your academic and professional success. So that's a great point. So Jillian, I'll ask you, is there anything that stands out? You spent uh, two years at our Waterloo campus, um, about your time there. So I definitely agree with Sabrina in terms of the close-knit 
um, community. What I personally loved, and maybe it's changed, but uh, we had a class of just Sussex students of a hundred of us. And you can literally look around start, like next to you. And those people are gonna go to Sussex, you know? So that was super nice. Like I could visually see everyone and you know, I have them all on Instagram and whatnot. So like you really do get to know people and then you start forming your own like little group. But then um, I was able to form leadership skills too. And I think that's super important at university. This is like a, just a easy way to gain so many skills that employers are looking for. So, and with that, it's part of the Laurier community. Like my roommates and I in second year, we almost would never see each other because we were so busy doing so many different leadership things and all different aspects of Laurier. So there's so much you can get involved with. And it's really just part of the ethic of Laurier, which I truly wanted in a, in a school and how profs are able, like are wanting to help you out and so on. So that, that really stands out to me, the community aspect. I think part of that Laurier DNA is the community engagement and the involvement on campus. As you know, there are so many different clubs and associations, ways to get involved, um, which I know students, they, they love that about Laurier. I can feel it on campus too, which is the, the crazy thing, like just the energy you step on and it's everyone's in this together. You're a golden hawk from the moment you start, you know, it's just, you can feel it and you want to be part of that. So Serena, I want to ask you, um, you studied criminology at the Brantford campus. Can you just give us a sense um, in your first two years of your class sizes? Um, I would say for the mandatory criminology courses, um, there was probably 100 to 200 people in them. They were bigger classes because they were the requirements that you needed for your degree. For very popular electives as well, like multiple murder is super popular. That will also have like a bigger lecture size. Um, but then for different electives or classes, I would say maybe around 80 um, is normal. And then if you have tutorials um, under 30, for sure, it's a small group. So it's really easy to talk and discuss with um, your peers and have a more like intimate conversation and tutorials. Excellent, thank you. Um, Jillian, you studied political science at the Waterloo campus. What type of electives did you take in your first and second year? Do you I, took a, I took a whole variety. I didn't stick to one thing specifically. What personally stands out to me is that um, AN 110, uh, Money Makes the World Go Round, that elective, it's anthropology, has almost nothing to do with political science. I loved it. It was a smaller class of maybe 50 people the prof would kind of be like, don't have your phone out and stuff, but like it works. Like you paid attention. It was engaging. It talks about like uh, just cool things that you wouldn't expect in a, in a normal class. So that, yeah, I just did a variety of things. It's like anthropology, I'm gonna say the list goes on of what students could be taking English, philosophy, history, film studies. I'm going to say there's definitely both campuses, there's a wide range of electives that's, that students can be taking for sure. Now, Jillian, I know you're the president of the student-led Sussex Club at Laurier. Can you just tell us a little bit about the club, um, what sort of events you know, take place during the year? Yeah, so I was part of it during its in infancy. It's now, I believe, four years old. I was event planner during its first year and my first year at Laurier. Then I became president. So it really developed even over those two years and I'm sure it's developed since. And we had meet the profs night, we had uh, trivia nights at Wilfs, then we made our own trivia night. We had a black tie event for a casino night that was really cool. And we also had um, a meet the Brantford campus meetup. Uh, so there is a lot of things that you can do with the club and you do get a budget. And if you want to see an event, the best way to go about doing that event is by like participating on the executive team is what I always say. If you want it done, you get it done yourself type of thing. So I just had a blast doing it. Well, and it's a good way to meet other students in the program, you know, again, that are gonna be heading over to England with you. So it again, helps build that community of other your peers that are with you with the program. 
Exactly. Everyone who went over really participated in the club and that was the best part. Excellent. So Sabrina, you're in your third year of your LLB, Jillian, you're in your second year. Sabrina, maybe you can um, speak first about what it's like to study at Sussex. You know, what have you enjoyed about studying law over there? Um, I really like that it's very social. It's students like to get to know each other and talk to each other. And there's lots of like social opportunities to get to know your professional, your professors on like a, like a more intimate level, less formal. So you get to know more about them, their personalities and just, it's a more down to earth, you know, situation to meet them and just get to know them a bit better. Um, which is nice because the class sizes in your first year, especially in second year, are quite big. So it's nice to go to these events and kind of get to talk to them a bit more and just learn more about them than they can share in class because obviously there's time constraints. Um, and there's lots of clubs and societies here as well, like such a huge variety, which is a great way if you're coming from Canada to England. It's a great way to make friends that are from here or other places um like it, there are other international students and there's just so many so if you play sports there's definitely a team here if you don't and you want to get into something there's like development teams and just social teams so you can just do it for fun it's not serious you don't have to worry about like you know if you're not good or anything um and then there's just other sides like dog walking so if you just want to like de-stress from school for a little bit there's so many things to get involved with outside of what you're studying that just makes it so fun to be here and kind of makes you more invested in life here i'm gonna say i think there's a laurier community there but it's really important to meet other students outside of laurier when they're and as you say other international students domestic students and there's lots of opportunity i think there's a lot of parallels between um sort of campus involvements that one can participate in at laurier and at Sussex in that there are so many different um, clubs and societies, um, you know, as, as you note, based on a number of different interests. I think I've heard about the Harry Potter club over there um, as being another popular one. I've heard about the dog walking club as well. Um, just a quick question for you, Sabrina, and follow up. What are the class sizes like in first and second year um, versus now that you're in your third year, the size of them? In my first and second year, for, for my year, at least, my cohort, there was, I would say, around 400 of us um, in law. I mean, whether everyone shows up to lecture or not is another story, but in typical, like the year, there's about 400 of us. Um, now in my third year, because there's so many different courses you can take that just go into different like niche areas of law, I would say some of the really popular ones maybe have like 80 students, maybe 100, but a lot of them are a lot smaller. I know I'm taking transactional banking law and that has 20 of us. So they really get down and smaller, which is almost nice in a sense because you can really pick what you want to take and maybe focus on in practicing one day. And then it just is so interesting to really get able, be able to take so many different areas and see what really is your passion and what you love the most. Um, so they are a lot smaller, um, and a lot more intimate. Excellent. So Jillian, I'll ask you, um, what have you enjoyed about your studies at Sussex? Again, I just think it's kind of a small school vibe with big school amenities is kind of the best way to describe it, where, where there really is something for everyone. I competed in mooting at Laurier, um, and I was one of the only Sussex students at the time. And again, mooting was developing at Laurier. So then I transferred my skills to mooting at Sussex. And that was really cool. And since I've transitioned to negotiations, that's just started. Um, and there's just so many ways at Sussex to develop your skills, but also to learn what you like and don't like, you know, just because you stuck with mooting for three years doesn't mean you have to continue that, you know, switch it up, try negotiations, try a clinic, you know, and I'm even developing, helping to develop a street clinic there. There's just so much that you can get involved with if you just look for it or reach out to people and people are happy to help you there and what's crazy to me is by being involved like the dean knows my name like that that just doesn't happen at a lot of bigger schools and yet I already have a lot of references from both Laurier and Sussex where they can say like I know what she's done and I love what I've done too like it so that's what I like about it um 
I'm going to say, I feel as though there's so much learning that can happen outside the classroom. And I'm sure you have moments where you're trying to decide between, you know, am I going to be involved in the clinic and in the competitions and all the different clubs? Because there's so many options, which I can imagine can sometimes be um, hard decisions, you know, to figure out because you just kind of want, probably want to do it all. So Sabrina, you've been in England for a few years now. Um, you even stayed there once the pandemic hit and you're, you remained throughout the summer. So can you just tell us um, what you love about living in England or in, or in Brighton specifically? Um, yeah, I, I love England. I think there's so much history here and it's really charming here. Um, I just love how laid back it feels in Brighton. And I guess that you could say about England in general, people here are just very laid back and um, they, they're able to like really slow things down sometimes. I think they are really, they put a good emphasis on work-life balance for the, the internships I've done so far here. Um, that's something that they really talk about is that they don't want their, you know, employees to be so stressed out and overworked and feel run down because that will show in your work. So they do really emphasize that here. Even, even in school, they'll say like, you know, you should treat it like a nine to five job or whatever kind of hours what's best for you, but make sure that you're cutting out time to do things for yourself that make you happy and make sure that you can run at 100%. Um, and I just, being here over the pandemic, I had a great time here. There's so much to do and it really helped me slow down and appreciate being in Brighton. And there's amazing parks here, greenery, um, just taking a walk to Preston Park, like it's gorgeous. It's like little waterfalls and amazing landscaping. It's just so relaxing. And I think being here in general is, has been such a good experience that I wanted to stay and just get to spend a summer here before, since it is, you know, going into my last year before I really have to, you know, start pick up and really start studying for the NCAs and stuff like that, because we'll start doing that next summer. So I just really want to enjoy my time here. And it's such a, a beautiful place with the pier and the beach. And there's, even though the pandemic was here, it was still an enjoyable time. And I'm really glad I got to spend it here because Brighton is a great place to be for students. I feel like it's a good mix of students, families, elderly people. Like it's a good mix that you feel so like, I don't know, you become invested in being here. And I think it's such a great experience that I'm, I'm really glad that I'm in the program because it's just opened up my, you know, view and perspective on working outside of Canada or, you know, in Europe, somewhere else, maybe not England specific, specifically, but working in other places that I wouldn't have really considered beforehand. Because I always thought, oh, I wanna, you know, work close to home and stay in, you know, the GTA. But now I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's such a big world out there that like, why would I limit myself to just that one area after being here for, you know, a couple of years. So it's really amazing. It is a beautiful place. Yeah. And I very much look forward to the day when I can come visit again, um, because I, I absolutely enjoy my visits over there because it is, it is beautiful and energetic and, and Brighton is a very, a very neat city. So Jillian, um, you're the president, um, correct, of the Canadian Student Law Society at Sussex. Curious what sort of events that you hold um, for the Canadian students over at Sussex. So currently due to um, the situation we're um, doing remote, which I'm completely fine with, to be honest, you know, you just adapt. So in that adapting, we've uh, contacted alum Su Canadian Sussex alumni we've started this series called CSLS Talks. And that's where we get uh, former alumni to talk about where they are now. So they're typically 2014, 2050 grads. So they still are young, you know, in terms of they know what we're going through and yet they've completed all their designations, their partners at a firm, or they've created their own firm in the GTA. So it's getting a lot of different perspectives. One stayed in London at a big firm uh, another created their own firm. So just getting more perspective, we try and prepare you guys for the NCAs. We try to connect and make those social events happen. Um, so, and we do like Westlaw certification, which uh, is all about case law research. Uh, so we do try to create a full uh, social and academic community. And there's even a Thanksgiving dinner in non-pandemic times, which is super popular. That's, I can't, not talk about that. It just couldn't happen this year. 
Yeah, I can say I, um, a few years ago when Sabrina was in um, her first year, I came over and surprised everyone at the Thanksgiving dinner. And it's one of the highlights of um, my time in this role because it was really wonderful seeing all the Canadian students coming together uh, that weekend. How many students are in the Canadian Student Society? I believe about a hundred. We didn't do memberships this year, but approximately a hundred and more and more Canadians are coming over um, every year, I think. So yeah. it's really boosting. I say that's a good number of Canadian students that are in the law school. It's not just the Laurier students, but there's also other Canadian students that are out, um, outside the program. Well, I want to thank you both for joining me today. This was really informative and um, I really enjoy hearing your, your experiences both at Laurie and at Sussex. Is there anything else you want to say to end this off? Anything that I didn't add, ask that you want to add? Um, I would just add, keep your mind open to it. I think it's such a great program and, you know, don't, don't get worried or discouraged about, oh, well, what's it going to be like in a couple of years? Just keep it, you know, stay positive. It's such, it's been such an amazing experience um that I, I wouldn't change it for anything so I think you know you're in good hands with Julie um she's been amazing with us um whether we went home or stayed or any any situation we've been in this whole time she's always been there for us so I think it's been an amazing experience so far yeah I just want to add that the Laurier uh partnership with Sussex has made my experience 10 times better just because it feels like I have someone looking out for me at all times and I still have connections with uh, Laurier clubs uh, and so forth. So there's just so much in between. It's not one or the other. It's not, it's all, it's all together. And that's what makes my experience and everyone else's so much better, I think. So just consider it. I think it's normal to be nervous and take this leap of faith, but trust me when I say this was the best decision I've ever made and you will learn so much about law and about yourself during this experience. So just, just do it. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm so happy to hear that you both have um, loved your experience, say, um, in this program. And I must say, I'm very lucky that I get to work with students so closely. It's definitely one of the things that I love um, about my role. And I really can't thank you both enough for today and for joining. Um, and if anyone has any questions, I welcome you to send me an email. Um, again, I'll give it to you. It's jpong at wlu.ca. If you have any questions about the program, uh, please do not hesitate in reaching out. Thank you both very much. Nice seeing you as always.